Hey everybody, so as promised, I'm um, going to do a real, real, real big, probably kind of painful bourbon barrel aged beer uh, stout review. Um, the beers we've got here today, we've got bourbon barrel aged El Gordo, Anderson Valley bourbon barrel stout, Black Note, and of course, the illustrious KBS. Um, I know I myself have had KBS and Gordo, Jake, you've had, had KBS, you, he's nice. had KBS. I've had not this time. So Gordo, these, will, so these will all be new experiences for us, and uh, we hope we can all kind of learn something from this. And, um, you know, just kind of kind of see what makes what what. We're going to kind of pour each of them, talk about each of them a little bit, and um, see where it goes. So we're going to go ahead and start busting these open here. Yeah. Start with the Gordo. As you can see here, it's pouring really, really, really deep, deep, almost black, like chocolate brown. Would you say? Absolutely, man. And um, real rusty, rusty head. I like it. Yeah, it's got really. kind of that nice khaki color. Mm -hmm. um, and um, go ahead and move on. Pour, pour open awesome. the next one here. Next, we have Anderson Valley. I, I know. I don't know anything about this one. Do you? Other than it's a bourbon barrel yeah, stout. We, we, we tried it. to throw a wild card in, I think, you know. This is Anderson Valley Bourbon Barrel Start Stout from Boonville, Boonville, California. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And kind of a little less, a little less, it's still kind of got that nice off white head, a little bit more head on it. Um, oh, other talking points, so. Um, this is 6.9% alcohol, alcohol by volume, by far the lowest alcohol here. The Gordo should be 13.9, uh, I believe. So that's going to be a, a little bit of a trial to get through. Fun trial. <laughs> um, and then the illustrious, other illustrious, also illustrious, Bell's Black Note, which, as you said before, neither of us have had, but it's notable it's on the BA Top 250, so it's very highly thought of. And um, let me see if I can get the ABV on this here real quick. 11.2, so this is a this is a bitch and a half too. It's, it's pretty heavy. Oh, it's like no head there. Yeah, you got a real, real light yeah. touch of foam, not much. Oh, wow. And, um... <laughs> that smells yeah, amazing. No no head whatsoever, really, on it. Well, it's, it's coming with like a real light kind of khaki. And finally, the one that I would say both of us have the most experience with, the lovely KBS. Got it. Yeah. Not a very good bottle opener. Let's see this, this top says. Yeah. Solar powered brewery. Well, that's uh, Anderson that's Valley. Pretty, uh, forward thinking. That is. Yeah. And there's your KBS. Wonderful. All right. So first, first little talk. we we'll talk a little bit about appearances. So obviously, most of these are gonna be pitch black. The um, the Gordo, I would say, I mean, honestly, like I said, a little bit of a real deep, deep chocolate brown with a real kind of heavy khaki head. Um, you know, I'm getting like a, like a, it has almost, almost like a, like a, a, finger, like an almost. orange, orange tint to the head too. It's um, pretty interesting. The Anderson Valley, by contrast, has almost, it has just a barely off white head. Um, you know, and, um, kind of a little, a slightly lighter body, but still, still kind of dark in feel. <laughs> this guy looks like a, the black like a glass note, of wine, man. The it black note a, is like super clean into the glass and like no head at all. Almost has like a, has a red tint to the... It, yeah, definitely. Like a, um, and then finally the KBS. KBS kind of has like a little thin layer of foam. It's obviously also kind of pitch black. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take in the nose here. Yeah, so absolutely. Like, um, so the Gordo, I immediately get like a boozy, like a boozy note, and a lot of chocolate and coffee. I get a lot of chocolate. Hmm. Um, a little bit of a roasty character too. Um, the Anderson Valley. So the Anderson Valley has this much more like kind of there's like a like a like a tart coffee. Do you get that? I do get it's like a little a, bit like of a of a tart difference. It's kind of interesting. Almost like a citrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's 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 like a it. subtle fruitiness to it, like some yeah. dark fruit. Or something. I get a little bit of a barrel, not a whole lot. Um, this one's this is a little bit less it's aromatic. It's, oh. Yeah, it's a little bit less aromatic. 
Um, I do get some kind of like some alcohol notes and a little bit of a little bit of a kind of a dry, tart I get a dry roastiness, tart, you know, tart coffee. And then the KBS. Let's see here. Oh, see, so the KBS, the thing I can say there, it's got by far the most coffee and chocolate, which obviously there's coffee and chocolate added, so it kind of only makes sense. But, um, <laughs> yeah, but I'm that, definitely getting that, that the most. Has probably the, I'd say, uh, yeah, I'd say the the Gordo and the KBS probably have the. Yeah, the, the most aroma to them. Gordo and the KBS are the most fragrant. This is this has, this kind of has an interesting standout in the nose. I think because like there's a lot of fruit there, and I wouldn't have expected that really. And then the black is kind of underwhelming in the nose. You know, there's um, yeah, you know, I get a little bit of subtle subtle chocolate and kind of cacao roastiness, but there's just not a lot there in the nose really. All right. Yeah, let's taste. To it. taste. Yeah, man, absolutely. All right, the Gordo first. Oh, oh wow. yeah, man. that's just that's so. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes the whiskey immediately. It's, it's absolutely the, the whiskey is definitely there. Um, there's the the roasted malt though is really is really is present in this really kind of nice mellow way. Like it's definitely there, but it's not painful. Mm -hmm. You know. You can um, taste that. I mean. Mm -hmm. that, oh yeah, and there's like coffee. a deep molasses like chocolate kind of sits on the back of the throat. It's a very thick, full-bodied beer. Oh wow, and that really that, that barrel just marries so well with what's going on. I mean I think. I think it's fresh. I mean it, it really it feels just so um, it's, it's the crispy. flavor to me is kinda it's actually kinda toned down. Um, yeah, it, 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 it pulls let me say this, I think it takes the edge off a lot of the things that, that's in the gordo. Yeah. I think and it, 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 it pulls it back a little bit. I like that it pulls it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um I think that it smooths it out in a really nice way. So, and that one is just like honestly, and I don't want to you know I want to sound like, you know, sound just like a straight up drunk when I say this, but like I don't think this beer would have the same effect without that without this much alcohol in it. Like there's something about the way yeah. it's, it's just it's married so well, but the weight of it. Well, it's, you need to feel the weight of it to make it. It does work. have that bitterness with the, um, you know, the that would you would bring in with that that dark chocolate flavor. Oh, absolutely, that that, like like that more the, kind of the cacao. Very note. roasted. Um, mm -hmm. malt flavor that you know it brings it almost brings like a bitterness to it and uh, it does and it, I mean it's just genuinely like it's it's pleasant mm -hmm. um, Kylie Anderson that yeah one? absolutely still I'm getting a lot of dark fruit in the nose um, so I'm gonna say this it is immediately clear that this is way lower alcohol yeah it's, absolutely it's first thing you notice this is nice. I mean, don't know, like I don't really taste the barrel though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really. I get, I get the, I get a slight roasted in malts, but mm -hmm. honestly, with that, I, I don't get much else. Um, I get some kind of like subtle kind of, um, almost like fruity brown malt. I get a little bit, a little bit of a fruit there, but not you a get, lot. You get that. I get that. You know that sweet, that mm -hmm. sweet subtle, but it, it doesn't have much bitterness to it, honestly. Mm -hmm. well, this is very smooth. I'll say this. Um, this is definitely different, mm -hmm. and I, I'll. I'll give it that. Um, it's not bad. I have to say this. I, you know, we wanted to pick, like I said, kind of pick a wild card and not just grab another really big one so we could have one. You know, maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe we'll be impressed. I, yeah, it's okay. What do you think? I, uh, I don't like it, but I mean, it doesn't. You know, the it, Gordo. You know, it just. It's it. It's already apparent that it's dwarfed by by what's around it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just it. It honestly tastes like. Um, it's just not as complex. Mm -hmm. yeah, there was not Real as kind much of thought process into the brewing with this beer, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I'm getting a little bit more roast in this, and almost like a chili quality. You get like I'm getting a, like a vanilla kind of. Uh, I see that. I see that. Um, it's pleasant. I just I wish yeah, it was more just, fragrant though. I really. But do. I kind of like the subtlety. Mm -hmm. I feel like the flavor might. All right. Let's see if this is worth top two fifty. Yeah. That's yeah, really I'm nice. Gonna say, I'm gonna, I don't get I mean, wrong. Like I still, is, to me, the Gordo still kind of kicks the shit out of that. But that's really good. Well, this got. I'm start, I'm starting to get you know dark fruit with mm -hmm, the. Definitely, right it's definitely is kind of you know it's more in the dark fruit category, which to me is like it's a, it's a tough treat to turn on a stout, and a lot of people say it has it. And I don't think most people deliver, but I think it's it's coming through here. This is interesting. Yeah. It's it's a lot more smooth than I think than than the Gordo is, and I don't mean that as a slight to the Gordo. You know. I, I don't know if I would give it just right now the 
the rating that it, it's gotten. But you I mean, you I don't think it deserves to be on the top two fifty based on what no, you're tasting. Um, but yeah. Um. So what? It's really well balanced. No, it's it's very it. nice. Like to me, I don't. I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked a lot into this one. I don't know what all kind of effort they put into this mm -hmm. one. For it being as sporadically released as it is, it seems to me like they could release this year round, and it would be a really good solid year round beer. But like, I don't think I would wait in line for this. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying. Like, yeah. Mm, I'm sorry, it smells. KBS. The, K, the KBS man, like you know, the old. It's it may be the one of the old dogs of the bourbon barrel age stuff, but man, it's still like there's a reason it's still around. The nose is just almost the nose still like has some kind of like peppery qualities, almost like like some of the mole stouts and stuff, you know. You get that. Sharpness. It does. It does have a and definitely like really, really like that that coffee coffee I do get tart that kind of roasty yeah. peppery note. I just get a good dark, full body coffee flavor with this. Immediate bourbon, immediate chocolate. I mean, th this one. Let me say this. Like, I think that this is one of those very. Don't get me wrong. It's very complex, but it's a very straightforward beer too. Like everything it says that you're supposed to taste, I think you immediately taste. Yeah, I know? mean it, it is. Um, um, for sure. I just think it's just wonderfully like crafted. I think. Oh, it's fantastic. No, it's that's a phenomenal beer. Um, it's definitely to me like it's already I mean, it's definitely between this and between KBS and Gordo. Though. I think El Gordo has uh, it's got a more powerful flavor to it than uh, KBS does. I think it's a stronger flavor. Mm -hmm. Um, I think too. It's just it's it's a more impressive body. Mm -hmm. Like to me, I'm not re I'm real stickler for mouthfeel. Although I do think it can ruin a good beer, but the one place I'd say it really matters the most to me is a stout. Like I want a full bodied stout. If you give me a watery stout, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm not gonna like it. Um, but yeah, to me, like the, I would say, I would say, the black yeah. note is okay. The Anderson Valley, yeah. eh. These two are your definite contenders right here. Like to me, I don't know. Do you have thoughts on the other two? Um. There's no question. I mean, this is just this is just a lower quality beer. Right yeah, here. Um, it's not. No, no, it's not bad. But like, if you're looking for a, for a a big assertive stout, you, there's a lot of better options. I would say. Um, I do like the subtlety of this beer. The black one. But um, I don't think I think that both KVS, which you know, has got what. Don't they have like a one hundred percent rating? I'm sure, I'm sure it does. Um, <laughs> if it I, doesn't, it should. It's deservingly better, oh, in my yeah. opinion, with the rating. But I think El Gordo is a lot better, and as well than the Black Note. Um, mm -hmm. So, are are we in agreement that at the very least, right now, it's between the KBS and the Gordo? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm more interested. In what's uh, what's last place here? I mean, I know what's last place. I'm oh, oh, wow. Whatever. The, I just got a great dark fruit note in the Gordo, believe it or not. Yeah, like almost like a like a deep kind of berry or black currant or something. And I've never picked up on that before. And I've had this probably two or three times now. Do you get it? Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like I caught like some kind of subtle subtle fruit like, or something. Like a like a blackberry or maybe yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I absolutely. See that. So I that's, wonder if they... that's interesting. Um, you know, I'm always like, it doesn't matter. I love adjuncts, but I'm also very impressed at people who are able to pull, bring out fruit flavors without fruit. Like to me, that's just you know, the epitome of the brewer's art, as they say. You know what's so funny though? I'll tell you something like right now. And even with my, you know, I've only had KBS probably four or five times. I haven't had it a lot. It's obviously really? a beer you can't really have a lot because it's, just it's not easy to yeah. get. But if you gave me these, I mean, and I, I'm serious when I say this. This is simple. If you gave me these. And you didn't tell me which was which. If I smelled the KBS, I would know instantly that that was the KBS. <laughs> it does have that. I mean, you know, you know and I, I think the. Um, I mean, wouldn't you? You get that um, that it's breakfast the, out. You know, it's yeah. Just like, well, there's just that. It's, there's that instant, really sharp roastiness that just comes through. That like, let me say this. I think that well, it, out of all these, the KBS has it on the nose. The, the I mean, nose, the, the thing, nose you know, is, what, is the superior characteristic of KBS. What do you does he breakfast the most with in general? The smell, right? When you're waking Absolutely. up, it's just the, the, the coffee bacon and, and the, the pancakes and the coffee, you know. And um, I love the like I said that subtle chili thing that, that's going on there. I don't really know. 
you know, it almost like it's like that really dry, roasty bitterness I of get coffee of a, that's just coming through in the nose. Yeah, I get that, and I get that alcoholic oh, that yeah. busyness with it, too. Absolutely, but, no, it's just, I mean, it, like I said, these two are both beasts. I would say that, overall, to me, overall, the Gordo wins. And, we'll, you know, for me, for me right now, I'm, we're going to give it some time here and try to at least finish a glass, of, finish all these glasses first. But, um, I will say this, really disappointed by the Black Note. I mean, I, I was really expecting a serious contender, and to me, it's just like, don't get me wrong, it's an excellent beer, but like, if I had to pick this or KBS, there's no question. You know, I would not give it a second thought. I would, I would be in total agreement with you. I, w I actually would go as far to say it's not an excellent beer. I think it's, I think it's well rounded. I guess. Uh, yeah, it's. But, I like the dark fruit. And there's a little bit like molasses yeah. kind of sugariness to it. Um, I want to make a make a point too on this Anderson Valley, and this is one of the things that, you know, this is not a bad beer. I don't think it's, it's obviously not a great beer. I don't think mm -hmm. this is going to win many awards, but taste it and see if you don't pick up a, a note of like Pilsner malt or German malt. Because I'm definitely like, I think that's the base. Well, um. It's like a lager malt. You, you think so? Oh, absolutely. Um, let's see here. Because there's something, like I said, there's something more distinctly English and less American about the it way really that it's have, made. It really doesn't. Well, I mean, have in, much it's in the taste. Nose. It's not really in the nose. Yeah. It's the taste of it. Like it's. I mean, obviously the mouthfeel is, is by far the weakest in the Anderson Valley. But do you see what I mean? Like that kind of Pilsner malty character to it. It tastes like kind of like German malt. Or like maybe. Let me rephrase it. Maybe that there's a lot more. Um, a lot more lighter quality malt. Lighter. I don't mean like less. Like not as good malt. I mean like lighter kilned malts in this than the other ones. That there's less roasted malt in that beer than any other it's, beer. I know, I, I can Do see you see what I mean? Where there's like it that almost clean, has that like biscuity that, kind of character to it. Well, it, even like it's got that like that kind of like that just like that light weediness and like even mm -hmm. like picking up like the, yeah. the glass. I mean, the beer is just lighter. I, I don't know why. You know what's funny too is like really if you run these on a scale with these these two being exceptions because they kind of tie in a lot of ways like the smell goes from less bourbony to more bourbony. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, well, let's let's do a different question here. Which beer to you most distinctly smacks of bourbon? What, what delivers on the bourbon promise overall the most? I'm and definitely the getting aroma? some more like in the aroma. Or are you saying well, aroma and flavor? I'm definitely getting some more dark fruit in this Gordo. I, I honestly haven't had a lot of chances to let let sit let this one sit and open up, but there's a lot more there. And I, this is I've been sitting on this for like six months or so. It's almost like a jammy kind of something on the nose coming out. I definitely get some bourbon there. Definitely has that, that kind of boozy, cl almost cleaning alcohol astringency. You, know, you, that, that yeah. you get that woody aroma with it. Um. I'm actually, I'm going to say that the Gordo delivers more on the bourbon, not because KBS doesn't have bourbon, but because KBS has a lot of other stuff in it. And so to me, it's like, even, so even light, if the, you know, just, yeah, it really, it's not bad. Like what you're saying, I just think, which one is the black three, note, the black note, um, no, not the Black Note. Um, yeah, the best of the Black Note. Or the Anderson the, um, Valley. Anderson Valley, is a, it's not a bad beer. I think just well, the I think Black also Note, KBS, and the Gordo just are more sophisticated. Well, um, I think that you know, it's certainly interesting that Anderson, Anderson Valley did a bourbon barrel stat at like 6.2%. Because it's like it's like half the alcohol content of everything else on the table. But, and, I, but to me, that's not, you know, as interesting of an idea, I guess, that is in, in principle. Like, that's not what... I mean, to me, like, you, your bourbon barrel stat is your statement piece. Like, if you're going to do it, do it or don't, you know. And so, like, to me, like, a, like a sessionable bourbon barrel stat is kind of pointless. Like, give me a bourbon bourbon barrel brown ale and it might feel, like, a little better. It might make more sense. I think you know? um, the KBS gets that really an extremely roasty, you know, mm -hmm. it's aroma. Def it's definitely dominating the But um, the black note, altogether, if the one that smells the most like a bourbon – any kind of whiskey, I think the black note is. The black note uh, See, I to me, it was sweet. like it just wasn't that fragrant. I still got some, but I, I do like just, some it's not black very white. fragrant. You want me to top it off? Yeah, sure. Oh. Talking to myself. There we go. <laughs> so, I'm going I'm to get that really good movement here and see if I can pick out the nose. I do get that, just that sweet oakiness. See, I'm almost like a, 
oatmeal or something from that. Really? And I know it's uh, they have oatmeal. See, I like I can instantly. This almost smells more like the Anderson Valley. Almost smells more like a Belgian strong dark. Like it's it really had. I I could swear to God they're using filter malt in that beer, which is not inherently a bad thing. I think that's kind of interesting, but. I don't think I don't think that advertising this is their bourbon barrel stout. You know, if they want to call it a stout that's aged in bourbon barrels, but I don't think they should really go with that as the name because it's kind of misleading in terms of presentation. Yeah, I think it died. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. We can edit that out. Cool. Mm. But yeah, so um, I know, like I said, we're kind of continuing to wrestle through these as they open up. Is Gordo still in the lead for you, or is KBS? You know, I I'd, I'd probably say that Gordo um, mm -hmm. is uh, is inching and out or no? I mean, the KBS I think, is yeah, I think both KBS is just uh, it's just a little bit. Um, Which one's your KBS? Right here. Um, I think it's just a little bit more mellow. The KBS is um, or the Gordo is the KBS. The Gordo is more of just a. Gorbo is a, the Gordo is an, is an assertive is an assertive beer. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. What's funny about this is, and you've you've Very had you've had the regular Gordo, like for this still to be so assertive, it's funny because to me, like you know, with the addition of the bourbon, it's still a mellowed out version of Gordo. Like, just, Gordo Gordo keeps the hoppiness up for even for a beer that's that massive. Mm -hmm. You know, you just get wonderful, and you get that that sweet flavor with the the KBS, mm -hmm. and then. Um, and aroma wise, KBS is right there. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I think KBS has the. K the I think best. the KBS actually, I will say this. I think KBS has a superior aroma, but I think the Gordo is better overall. Flavor, flavor wise, um, I think it pours better. Um, I just love that that almost that like <laughs> when you swish it around that like pumpkin orange mm -hmm. kind of like head that it has. A beautiful khaki khaki color. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I'll be honest though, like I said, with the bells, I'm, I'm, it's, it's all right. It's, it's an all right beer, but I'm kind of disappointed, man, because that, like, no, no, like bells is, is a superb brewery, and you know, y'all, y'all make um, the hop slam, which is phenomenal, and no, that's very good. Don't get me wrong, but like, I think that any any brewery really, and this this is totally serious, any brewery. If you're going to make a bourbon barrel stout, and honestly, if you're going to make anything, but if you're going to make a bourbon barrel stout, you need to eye your competition, and you need to know that 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 you're going to have to stand toe to toe with that. Yeah. And like you know, yeah, it doesn't have to be the best thing ever in in the world, but it you know that that's the kind of beer pe people are looking for a statement piece with that beer. Like that's something where you say, yeah, this is who I am. You know, this is what we do. This is why you should come to my brewery because this this is this is the sum of our talent. You know, and so for. For you to kind of come to the table <laughs> half cocked with something as you know, that's kind of I don't know, like that was that feels like you gave it the attention of just like a per periodic periodic small batch release. Like that's not that's not good enough, you know. It needs to be something like you know you need to test it a couple times before you ever release any of it, you know. And I you know I almost get it. An unbalanced alcoholic um, flavor with the the black note. Black note. Um, like like an astringency, or just that it's too boozy for its own. It's good. just too boozy, you know. I think that the you know I think that the the Gordo and even um, I can see I that a little KBS bit. I think that that little this guy a little bit of a little bit of cocoa kind of starts and kind of it. becomes unpleasant with the astringency there. I think. Um, so yeah, um, I'll say like, what's up? I'm just checking. I'll say like, I, you know, I think you know, I for the, for those of you who commented on the videos that are uh, on the uh, on the Instagram post that I made about this, you know, I think you're you're definitely right about the yeah, the Gordo winning out. Um, you know, I honestly, I thought it would be a little bit closer with the KBS <laughs> for real, but I think it's just for me, you know, the the bourbon barrel stout is just such an ambitious thing and. There's just the Gordo just has so much more presence. You yeah, know what I mean? Absolutely. Like you just like you it, as great as KBS is, like when you taste the Gordo, like you, you know you're tasting something that's a big deal. And would you agree? Like if somebody handed you this and you didn't know what it was, do you think that after you're tasting it you think you would think you could just go anywhere and buy it? Or would you think you'd have to stand in line? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, I mean it's you, it really you, is you can you can taste the esteem. I mean I, that's a weird way to say art, it. But, it's an art. I mean, it it really is uh 
like I said earlier, I mean, it's just finely crafted. It makes you pay attention to it. Um, it really does. And, uh, I mean, the amount of, it's so wonderfully complex. Oh, yeah. But it's not, you know, like, you know, it, it's, it's head's not up its ass, you know. With yeah, the, I absolutely. think that it, it knows what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and it stays true to the style, and it just, it kind of just hyphens those, like, those, you know, that that flavor that mm -hmm. goes with the style whereas uh anderson valley right here it yeah. just it, it's, it's not like enough it's not enough of, it's not enough of a ba stout man or bourbon barrel aged stout like it's just not um do you want to let these evolve a little bit more as we sit or you want to call it kind of get final thoughts i'll get final thoughts okay um, you go first and then I'll, I'll say what i think um I would probably. Are you like talking about rating it? Well, or? rank them first and talk about each of them a little bit. Yeah. Um. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, give it analyses. Taste, taste more if you need to. I'm gonna say, um, KBS. Is okay. First, KBS is both first. with aroma and flavor. Um, it's just got that vanilla. Dark chocolate. You've got milk chocolate flavors mm -hmm. in there. You've got okay. you got dark fruits, in my opinion. But okay. of course, you get that you get that um, that coffee, that roastedness with it, mm -hmm. and the the aroma itself is just it beats all of them. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna have to say KBS first in aroma for sure. first. Um, okay. And as it warms, you get more vanilla, mm -hmm. multi flavor. I agree. Um, I agree with that. Uh, second's obviously gonna be the Gorda. Um, okay. Even in the aroma, I get like a like a dark fruit kind of. Oh, absolutely! It, you get it like oh, it's a funny. I, I honestly I've never picked up on that before. I think I've had this. Have, I've had two big bottles about twice before. But I, I think I think uh, you get more of a bourbon aroma than KBS. So it's it's really close. Mm -hmm. I'd say KBS is just inches it out. I think KBS okay. is probably the best beer that I've ever had. Um, and <laughs> that's, I, that's not a bad choice. Yeah, and For I sure. uh, so I I can't go wrong with it. You know. Yeah. I've always got a. You know, I, I, you know, I went back and forth in this review. Mm -hmm. um, I think we both did a little bit. But I'm gonna say KBS, uh, KBS, then and Gordo. then Gordo, um, and then I'm probably I'm gonna have to put the black note in, in uh, third. third because I mean, I mean it is co to me it's just it's it's not assertive enough to stand to stand toe to toe with the big two. Like it's the it's almost like if there. they took everything there and ramped it up a little bit, I think it would be better. Personally. Exactly. I mean, I, I think that it would be right up here with these guys. I think uh -huh. that the the flavor is almost there. It's like they brewed a lighter. It's like they brewed a, a version of their beer that's a little bit lighter than it should be. I think the mouth it might be just weak. a bad batch. Yeah, I don't think so. I just I don't I, think I, 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 think I think it's just it, subtle. It, it tastes good enough that I, I think that everything was here was done on purpose. I mean, I, don't, I, don't I think it's wrong. almost it's too too subtle for its own good. Yeah, um, I would agree. And then Anderson Valley is just. It's weak. It's literally half the alcohol these other beers. And, uh... Which, like, yeah, it's not in and of itself a, it's a bad lighter. thing, but it just Even, doesn't... To me, this is not a bourbon barrel style. It's a lighter. Like, I mean, yeah, no, I don't think it's... I don't think it's a heavy weight at all. I think it... I think that you put it right there with just like a... What did you say? You said like a, a Belgian L. Like well, like it, 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 it's got some... It's got some notes of like a Belgian strong dark, which is not a bad thing inherently, but it's just like it's... To me, like... The weakest that a bourbon barrel aged stout should be is like eight to ten percent. That should be a, that should up. be a heavy as as hell beer. It really should. It yeah, I, I'm in agreement. I I just think it um. All right, so you're going not, K, KBS so Gordo, KBS Gordo, Black Note, Anderson Valley. Absolutely. Okay. All right, I will get my closing thoughts here. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the Gordo one first, and honestly, like, just to kind of some thoughts on this one. Closing thoughts on this one. I'm more impressed with this than the last two times I had it. And the last two times I had it, I loved it. Like, I thought it was amazing. But, like, there's there's just, it's opened up so much in the time that we've sat here. It's got these great jammy notes. Maybe the, the just, way that you aged it a Maybe bit. so. Yeah, maybe so. Um, you know, but it's just, honestly, yeah. man, it's just, it's got such presence. The body is so, it's huge. It's got these, you know, it's got this immediate bourbon flavor. And honestly, like, as much as I love all the stuff that's in the KBS, like I like that there is a simpler presentation that, that yields equally complex results. And it's, like to me, know, that's really, really impressive. 
And, and like I said, like, you know, if you gave me this and I didn't know what it is, like, this is a beer that commands your attention. It's, it's just, it's huge. Um, yeah. KBS is in a close second. Um, I mean, you know, I, I'll, I'll talk about it, but what, what can you really say about KBS? I mean, it's just, you know, it's been around a long time now, and it, you know, people are still fighting to get it when it goes into a store. It's gone in 30 minutes unless people don't know it's there. Um, you know, the nose, I will say this, the nose, it, it has the superior nose out of all these. It's just got this, it's just such, so assertive. It's got such, it's almost visual. Um, and it's presentation. And the taste, you know, you get the chocolate and the coffee. It's just, it really is, it's an absolutely stellar beer. Um, the Black Note, man, I like the dark fruit angle. I really do. I'm not impressed. Um, it's it's good, I guess. I mean, it's... It, Part of it too. I mean, it, it's hard, you know. It's it's hard to say how good this really is in some ways, put next to all these other beers because you know we got two other beers that are like second to none over here, and then you've got Black Note. But I can say this, like you know, at the very least, the fact that that the Gordo and the KBS stand neck and neck together is is, is proof of the point that that the Black Note is just totally edged is is, is out of it, is is out of its depth. Like it's just it's not on the same tier. And and I say that like you know Bell's it's it's a great beer I'm not you know I'd be I'd be happy to have it any day but I'm not gonna wait in line for it I'm just not. Yeah, I'm in agreements with you. Um, I, 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 there's nothing much I really can say. I mean, um, we were both excited about this beer uh, and Feel it, a little let it, down. A little bit, you know, you know more than a little bit actually. I thought. That it would contend with these two, but uh, right off the bat, you know. or at least be only slightly less good than those yeah. two. But it's like to me, it's like you know, it's like twenty five places behind the mark. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah, not, it's exactly. not five places behind the mark. It's like twenty five. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it really, yeah. I, it didn't really even contend right mm -hmm. off the bat. Um, but what I can say about that is, uh, I mean, Birmingham. Has a really good brewery, and mm -hmm. I mean, good people, they know what they're doing with stouts. Um, um, this is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, and and then I'll kind of the closing thing about Anderson Anderson Valley Bourbon Barrel Stout coming in, coming in dead last year. Um, I honestly, man, like I, I would like to talk to the brewer about this because I kind of want to know the intention. I feel like that might help a little bit. Um, this is way, you know, it's it's way lower alcohol, it's way too lighter, you know, too light body to me to be put in. This might work if they named it differently and just described it as a South Asian bourbon barrels, but like I said, as as a you know, a bourbon barrel style is a statement piece, and this is not a statement piece. The dark fruit is interesting, but like this is the kind of thing that needs to be like an unexpected surprise odd and end, not like something that you put up for, you know, contention. You know, th this is not the kind of thing that you would even advertise as wanting to win best picture at the Oscars, you know. KBS and Gordo, yes, this is like I don't know, local film festival quality, if that even makes sense. Like, it's, you know, it's nice and it's different, but it's it's just not great. Um, so, in closing, yeah, the Gordo wins out for me, the KBS wins out for Jake. They're both phenomenal beers, and they're both worth your time. Probably have an easier time getting the KBS than the Gordo in most parts of the country. Um, don't ask me to get Gordo for you. I get it for myself, and it's a lot of money. Um, <laughs> the Black Note, you know, I'm just kind of... yeah. With this guy in this review, but I, I you know, I really do um, enjoy beer. Uh, I don't know as much as he does, but I, I really. You come you know, a long way you, though, Jake. You, yeah. you're, you know. Well, really. with the, the what, what I got to say about the Black Note is, um, you know, this is just our opinion. I think him and I are pretty close. Like, is, mm -hmm. at least with stouts. Yeah. You know, we kind of like so. we like the same thing, but um, mm. um, you know, if you like that, if you like a more settled. Uh, version. I think this one probably would be easier to drink, quicker it's got, to drink. It's got, got some nice chocolate on there. Yeah, exactly. And you, you know, if you want to get drunk, you know, I mean, you could. <laughs> certainly it'd be, be easier. Worse. It'd be easier to, <laughs> you know, it'd be easier to take down these guys. Uh, yeah. Um, but um, that's just my opinion. If you if you think that you know it's it's as complex as the rating it got on, on you know rate beer and beer advocate then you know, that's your opinion. I just don't see it. And I don't yeah. think he does either. I, I don't. I this this is let me say this. I know that there's not a lot of people that have had had the gor the barrel aged gordo and that's the reason that it's not rated higher because in order to get 
continue to be a top 250. Enough people have to have it and like it. But honestly, just on pure merit and not not amount of positive reviews because you know it doesn't have any negative reviews. There's just not a lot of reviews out there. This should be on the BA 250. This should not. Um, so yeah, um, let's you know we, we're inching at the 35 minute mark here. There was obviously a lot to talk about, so last, I don't think there's anybody surprised. Um, yeah. This isn't a bur bourbon barrel aged out, in my opinion. I don't. I really do not think that this guy. Like, Which one belongs here? Oh well, I mean, it's clearly a bourbon barrel stout, but I mean, I just does. It, let me just say, this, literally does it does it deliver on the promise? No, I agree. It with that. tastes like um, it almost has that that like old, you know, like old like citrusy. Yeah. No, I mean, it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely it's definitely it tastes more like and, a really dark brown ale. Um, I just, I don't even, it's, it's so light too. Like, yeah, I mean, you can almost see the other I would, side. Of the yeah. Glass. Now the last um, final comments on the Anderson Valley, you know, like, so we probably need to wrap up the, wrap up the video so we can actually get it on the YouTube with a content limit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. um the, uh, yeah, the Anderson Valley, the Anderson Valley would kind of be nice if you just like wanted to pick up something on the way home and try something a little bit different. But like, if you really want an assertive stout, don't, don't, don't bother. It's, it's not complex. Um, it's not bad, but it, I mean, yeah. yeah. So. Well, anyway, well, uh, you know, we ho hope that the people who watch this enjoy it and get something out of it. Um, if you have any questions or comments or thoughts about any of this, we we would always love to hear it. Absolutely. Um, so please just hit us up, and uh, we're going to be trying to do some more comparative reviews in the future. Um, really like this format. I think I think you probably like it too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, think it's I think it's a great format, and I don't think it's explored enough. So we're gonna try to do that more and more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, going forward, we're and, just um, too uh, we're just too uh, southern southern graphic designers who enjoy beer and yeah. will give you honest opinions. So, yeah, and uh, uh, you know, we'll we'll try try to certainly to be fair, even if it's not popular, you know. Yeah. And, and just be honest with what we think. But anyway, so like I said, we hope you all enjoyed it. And um, take it in. If you have thoughts on these beers, let us know.